Welcome to the old Lumens channel again. This is the uh, second video on the hot air rework solder station that uh, I got for a review from T-Mart. Um, came from T-Mart USA. It's a model 8786D and the, the company name is YIHUA. Um, I've got it plugged in and I'm going to go through a little bit about it now. Um, you'll see when you first plug it in this set of lines that's just flashing at you. When, when the three lines are flashing, that means that the hot air gun is in hibernation. It's not in use, okay? I have both uh, s uh, s units set, uh, shut off right now. And uh, you can run them both at the same time. You can have them both turned on at the same time, and I will here in a minute. But first now I'm going to do the hot air station. And I'm going to turn it on. You see I have a, a blue light now for rework but it's not doing anything. Well, this thing won't run as long as it's in the holder. And that's pretty wild. When I pick it out of the holder, you can hear it. And look at how fast it's heating up. It's set for 350. That's it, right there, 350. Just a couple of seconds, you're at it. And the little little flashing light down here means it's in constant, uh, constant temperature control, you know, right now. And this dial, changes the airspeed or the airflow okay so that's you know and yeah it's uh, it's hot <laughs> so anyways and then if you put it back in the holder watch this there you go it's it's automatically cooling itself off the heater is shut off the fan is still blowing and the fan will continue to blow until it gets to under 100 degrees, and then it shuts the whole thing off. I mean, that's just that's just wild, man. I mean, I, you know, I've never used one of these before, but that is that is neat, you know. So I'm just waiting for the thing to, to get down to, a, you know, under 100 degrees and see what it does. There you go, shut off right there. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the soldering station. I've got that set for 350. My soldering light is on, and here we can show right now how fast that heats up. It doesn't take very long at all. You know, I'm really amazed at, uh, at how fast these things will, will turn on now. I may have it set higher than 350. Let's see what we get to. Here's the set button. 350 and and see the set button over here changes from to rework station or solder so it's not really a set it's more like a switch button to switch from whichever display you want to see okay so if I want to change the the, the temperature here all I got to do is use the up and down buttons you know and it, it moves fast so you it really you know you when you get close you have to do it that's one thing I don't like it moves too fast and you sort of have to you know peck at it which I don't know how long those buttons are gonna last when you have to do that but anyways um, you know I've, I've tested it out with solder and uh, it, it 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 really does work as it says I mean it heats up in under less under a minute uh, it's, it's really amazing um, so now, if I were to pick up my rework station, I still, the, you know, I, my display goes right to the rework station. And I can, again, if I want to set the temperature, it's just down or up. Okay. And set the airflow, turn the dial. Okay. I'll put that back in again. That is sort of loose. I don't like that too much, but hey, it's the way it is. Uh, after a while, that might be a problem. Okay, that's um, really that's all. Uh, all I've got to to go through with you. You know, and like I said, I mean the the hot air gun has uh, three different tips that it comes with. Uh, I'm still working on finding out spare tips for this uh, soldering iron, but. I have seen this soldering iron, this 907A. 
uh, on the T-Mart website. And so I believe the whole, you know, you can, a whole replacement iron is like $5 or something like that. And then I also believe that there are tips uh, for that. And I don't think that soldering iron is made, the soldering iron itself is necessarily made by this company uh, because I think it was a different brand name that I saw on T-Mart website. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, figure that out, and I'll put that in the, uh, in written form in the threads. Um, anyways, uh, I don't know that I'm gonna bother showing you how to uh, rework uh, with the hot air gun because I've never done this before. Hang on a second. Okay. Anyways, I don't know that I'll show you how to use the hot air rework station because I've never done it myself. I'm gonna have to experiment and learn how. Uh, really, the point of, of this unit is to, uh, or the point of this, this video is to explain to you about the unit, which I did in the first one. I gave you some basics, and now I've shown you the operation of it. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. I mean, I'm really uh, amazed at how much this little unit does. I'm going to go ahead and shut these off. Uh, I'm amazed at how much this thing does, and uh, I really look forward to... Uh, enjoying the use of it. Um, I can't tell you anything about the longevity until I've had it for a while, but uh, it seems to be uh, well made and it seems to operate exactly as it's supposed to. Uh, so that's probably about it for part two of this uh, of this video. Uh, like I say, I doubt I'll actually be doing, doing any rework with it and showing that in the video because I won't show you the right way. I don't know how to do it. Um, but I may may show the tear down and the guts on the inside of this uh, uh the guts in the in the in the both the heaters in here and how to take them apart and all that kind of thing so that you know anyways uh thanks for watching